Hey, this is the Fat Boy Show on RX Radio, and I am Fat Boy here with the Inno Prince, who yesterday told me it's still too early for us to be wishing people a Merry Christmas. Yes, uh, because uh, it's more, just more no longer exists. I mean, it's still the first week of December. We should save these uh, greetings for a little bit later in the month. Yeah, the, the, okay. the last week. I would, I would the last yeah. week. <laughs> so for now, I don't know. Uh, maybe we just say a uh, Happy Holidays or yeah, something like holidays. that. Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. That's the word to use. <laughs> Though it All right. Sounds strange to some Ugandans if you come telling them happy holidays still right now. <laughs> what? They might not get it. <laughs> they might not get it. They'll be like... Well, I'll tell you uh, mm. who's not happy right now. And that would be uh, members of the Opposition Justice Forum Party mm. who are asking uh, the leader of the National Unity Platform Party, mm. Robert Chaglani, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, mm. to retract his comments regarding the recently enacted Anti-Homosexuality Act. Mm. In a later dated 4th of December, Gemma's Secretary General, Mohamed Katerega, he expressed disappointment over Chaglani's perceived evasion on the matter. Uh, Chagulani voiced his concerns during an interview that we recently covered here yeah, on the yeah. show. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the Monday show, we covered that interview exactly. uh, that Chagulani had with the uh, BBC, uh, in which uh, he claimed that the law, which received overwhelming support from over 90% of uh, MPs and including the entirety of uh, his own party, mm. uh, the bill was introduced by a member of his party <laughs> also. <laughs> He says that Bobby Wine in the interview said that the bill was not passed in the interest of Uganda's, but rather as a tool to suppress the opposition. Uh, Chagulani further alleged that some opposition MPs collaborate with uh, President Museveni and the enactment of that law was one of those uh, efforts. So this uh, Jema party in their letter are calling upon Chagulani to retract his statements and to demonstrate a commitment to fostering a culture of respect and cooperation with fellow leaders. So um, we predicted that this would happen, that his political enemies would seize on the responses he was giving in that interview and to try to make it look like he is in some way in support of the LGBT community. community. Because the first thing actually while we were covering that story, the interview, we noticed that he really didn't come out on a clear side of things where he belongs, only that it painted a picture that he could be. Uh, siding with with the community because what did he say? He said, "Oh, I believe in second chances. Yeah, I believe in second I've chances. I've transformed. I've changed." Yeah. <laughs> he, he was like speaking in progress so, or something, you know? uh, implying that now, if he was against before, now he is for. He, he's for now, right? But for the thing to say that uh, uh, it was to hinder his uh, progress or suppress him as a, as a political uh, leader right now. I, I don't I don't understand that statement. I don't understand that statement. There's no way the bill was there to suppress him or do anything. The bill was there to make sure that maybe they protect the cultural values of, 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 of the nation or the Ugandans. Mm, well, also on the other side, one would assume that it would be to hit him or push him just like it's now escalating. People are now capitalizing on that interview. Well, yesterday we mentioned his uh, you know, mysterious connections to international agents and international groups. Mm. Uh, and you know, when Bobby Wine says that maybe this bill was passed uh, in collaboration with the government, I can see how this could make sense in, in the sense that uh, knowing that he has these close ties to these international groups that are definitely pro LGBT, yeah, these pro these Western groups yes. that uh, apparently might be backing Bobby Wine, mm. uh, by getting members of his own party to uh, present that bill to you know to table that bill and to have his entire party uh, structure be in support of that bill and unanimously vote for it to be for passed, it, to be passed. Mm. it would be placing Bobby Wine at odds with his alleged backers yes. who would probably want him to also, be more against to be more against it actually to lead it and you know also to be against to, to lead the charge against the fight against yeah, yes, the yes, bill. yes 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 so in in so doing causing a division now uh, it remains to be seen how much further this issue might be escalated because uh, right now it's outside political parties that are challenging him but what's going to happen if within NUP some MP starts also to say come out and tell him. hey we want our president to <coughs> come out clearly on this issue and and i have a feeling he's he's still going to play that card of not coming out clear he's going to make sure that uh, he within his party it doesn't escalate he'll try his best i'm assuming that but only the people that are outside the other political parties are all uh, may be having a push from mm. the back uh, like he says maybe mm-hmm. from the president right you know to make sure that 
they, they suppress him and make it hard for him in front of all of these uh, uh, Western, you know, people who are supporting him in one or the other. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, but, do you think he'll retract that statement? I think he's going to keep trying to dance around the issue, which mm. is why, which provides an opportunity for his detractors to squeeze him harder. Harder. Uh, and uh, he might just have to, I, I don't know, man, because <laughs> he's between a rock and a hard place. He can't outright come out and condemn the LGBT community because that would certainly not do go down well with yeah, his yeah. Uh, international audience. And by audience, I mean uh, his direct and indirect supporters. Mm. I mean, he's out there screening his movies in film festivals <laughs> you, you, you don't think that those people who are busy hosting him for all these uh, events and inviting him to give speeches and are handing him all these awards you don't think they are gonna you know give him a hard time about true, it true they, they certainly will they will they will so he, he, it's, it's a hard one for him and he'll make sure that he doesn't come out clear on it yeah well let's see what happens do keep listening to the fat boy show it's your number one station rx radio 